أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبع هداه إلى يوم القاء وبعد praise is due to Allah we beseech his mercies and blessings on his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his household, his companions and those who follow him till the day of reckoning Amin. based on the agreement of yesterday and uh, hopefully maybe uh, today is Today will be 29 Sha'ban. So maybe tomorrow or on Thursday will be the beginning of Ramadan. So we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count us among those that will witness Ramadan. Mm-hmm. Because as little as the hours remain, those that will not witness it will not witness it. Mm-hmm. That is min mashi'atillah, from the will of Allah. Walladhi ahya وَوَالَّذِي هَمَاتِ So, he's the one that, uh, that gives life and he's the one that takes the life. So we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to sustain our life beyond Ramadan. Ameen. So we agree that we should be taking, you know, the tafsir of verses little by little, ayah by ayah. So, and we won't take much of our time in the exegesis. Now, but before we begin the Exegesis, we need to look into what does a tafsir entail. You know, when you want to engage in something, you want to embark in something, you must understand what you want to do first. So, tafsir, the definition of tafsir, lugatan was tilaha, in the language and in the terminology of scholars. So, tafsir has its root word from al fasr Fasar yafsir or fasar yafsir. The meaning of that is al idah to make something clear, al ibana to explain something. So that is the root word of a tafsir, explanation, make something that is kind of ambiguous or that is uh, not clear enough to be clear. So when we now look into the word itself, tafsir, it has its basis from fassara, you fassiru, tafsir. So if any word in Arabic language comes from this chain, like this root word, bitadaifi asim, fassara, you know, we liken it to fa'ala, scholars of uh, sorfu, they make us understand that it means Al-Mubalagha fi shayin That is doing something to the history Or a takfir The surplus You know, the number of times that thing is done And usually When you see the Quran Allahu Akbar kabira Al-Quran kalamun mu'ajiz Quran is a book that You know, the the Nuhat, the scholars of Nahu The scholars of Sarfu, when they see Some verses of the Quran, they bow because it's not ordinary book. It's the book of Allah. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the incident between Yusuf and Zulikha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses وَغَلَّ قَتِلْ أَبْوَادِ بِتَدْعِيْفِ اللَّهِ وَغَلَّ قَتِلْ أَبْوَادِ And Zulikha closed the doors. So some scholars said the reason for the, for the تَدْعِيْف, for the shadda. The leak is because of the either because of the plentitude of those doors, you know, the houses of the king, many doors, from the back, from the front, from the side, So we use this extract to explain the tafsir. Tafsir means the the surplus explanation based on a lot of knowledge. Because tafsir is not a a simple thing in the deep. It's not uh, handled by just somebody that is just coming up in the deep, you know, in the knowledge. Wallahi. So it's just, مَا لَا يُدْرَكُ كُلُّهُ لَا يُدْرَكُ جُلُّهُ Whatever you cannot achieve everything, we will not leave it in totality. That is why we are doing this. 
It is the knowledge that is handled by great scholars. So because it entails a lot of things. So this is tefsir. Tefri, tefsir means explaining in surplus the teachings of the Quran. Now, istilah, and, that is we've taken the istilah and the law together. Mawdu'a ilmi tafsir. What is the discussion of tafsir? Is not discussing anything other than kalamullah. The word of Allah. Explaining the meanings of the word of Allah. So that people can understand the Quran and the message of the Quran and walk by the teachings of the Quran. That is the tafsir. So, adawatu istimdadihi. What are the knowledge? Like I said earlier, it is not a knowledge that is undoed by, you know, those that are coming up from the, from the knowledge. You know, it has numerous knowledge that it entails. For the person to go into ilm tafsir you must be fluent and you must be someone who understands perfectly al-lughatul arabiya, Arabic language. You must, you must understand. And when we are talking about Arabic language, you know, it has a lot of uh, facets. You must understand ilm al ilm al-sarf, ilm al ilm al You know, balaga too has a lot of facets. Al-ma'ani, al So one must understand Arabic language. Al-adab. Very well. From among the things that you must understand is ilm usul al-fiqh. Usul al-fiqh. Is a, is a knowledge that before you can, in fact, it's because of where we find ourselves. Sometimes people like student of knowledge, I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count me among the student of knowledge. Because uh, it's, knowledge is not something that is a joke at all. It's because of where we find ourselves. There are some issues that are only meant to be discussed by the great scholars. Because it requires many things. Usul al fiqh is a knowledge of a tashri al islami legislation of the deen. Where we'll be talking about the uh, al-kitab, al-sunnah, al-ijma, al-qiyaz, al-masalih, al-mursala. Okay? Uh, is, th- is this particular message of the Quran, is it for umum or khusus? Is it for the general or for the specific? Many things like that. Oh, is this dalil, dalilun qata'iyu, uh, is, is this dalil qata'iyu dilala wa subut? How the niyu dilala was the boot? How kotayu dilala the niyu the boot? Many things like that. So, before you can have, before you can explain the tafsir of the Quran, you must have this knowledge. Ulum al kiraat. Kiraat is not only, we are, we are used to us here, I think. And some other, I think in Saudi, they are, they, they often with us. In some other part of the world, we have different kiraat, what you are at. We have, uh, we have Kaloon, we have Susi, uh, we have Wash, and, and different like that. A, a, a scholar must understand all these things before he can explain Quran in a better and a way that we, you know, that will give the details required of the explanation of the tafsir of, of, of the Quran. Who brought this knowledge? Who is the propaganda of tafsir al Quran? وَادِعُهُ وَرَسُولُ اللَّهِ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم The first person to explain the Quran is who? The messenger. لِأَنَّهُ بَيَّنَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ لِمَنْ؟ لِأَصْحَابِهِ He explained it to his sahaba. And the sahaba, what? They took it. That is why we always say, if you want to do anything in the deen, you have to follow the kitab, follow the sunnah, with the understanding of who? السَّلَفُ الصَّالِحِ because they, we are the one that took the, the knowledge directly from who? From the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it is very difficult. In fact, it is impossible that they will not do ijma. They will have consensus on something that is evil. La, لأن الله قد 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 أنقذ الله سبحانه وتعالى هذه الأمة من الباطل. Allah subhanahu wa taala explains and describes this ummah bil khairiya. كنتم خير أمة أخرجت للناس أخرجت للناس تأمرون الناس بالمعروف وتنهون عن المنكر. If we are, if we are not good, if the Sahaba would be those that would be having consensus on something evil, Allah wouldn't say you are the best of nations. 
And in another verse, Allah says, وَمَنْ يُشَاقِكَ الرَّسُولِ Eh? Mim, eh? Eh? Uh, and when they, eh? They, there's a place of the Quran that Allah is, وَيَتَّبِعِ غَيْرُ سَبِيلِ Eh? بارك الله فيكم ويتبع غير سبيل المؤمنين and he follows the path different from the path of the believers who are the believers that Allah is mentioning the Sahaba so these are the knowledge that Tafsir requires and inshallah we're going to stop here and tomorrow if Ramadan does not begin tomorrow we we'll begin we we'll discuss Fadl Tafsir Al Quran what is the importance so. And if it begins, we may quickly go to straight to the verses of the Quran, inshallah. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Count us among the guided. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashallahu ilaha illa anta astaghfiru wa atubilika. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.